Hey everybody, Jochen Haydn here. I have the combat replay for the 11th of December turn. We should be back on track now. No more restarting turns, no more going back, no more errors, I hope. So we're doing it live. So when Lodrick sent me the email with the file in it, he said that you were lucky, but not always. So in typical Lodrick fashion with his riddle-like responses, I think he's trying to tell me that something good happened for me and then something bad happened for me. Or maybe it was just all bad. I, I can't read that guy sometimes, so let's watch and see what happens. And we're off. Let's see what happens. I'm excited. I think something good's going to happen for me. I'm going to have a great day today. We're going to push back against these Japanese invaders. Oh, right off the bat, looks like we uh, captured a base there near the north of Vietnam. Okay, so we still got some landing stuff going on at Rabal. That's interesting because that's a different force than what I thought. Hmm. Why is there two different task forces here? Uh. Hmm. All right, so we t our surgeon took a shot at a destroyer and miss but that's that's okay pretty sure our sub will be able to get out of this yep we do three destroyers in that task force I wonder if this is the AS yeah it's an ASW attack so no they did not hit me we fired at him so I know that he's deploying destroyers off the coast of Takao to counter my sub so we may need to adjust our patrol routes a little bit Oh. oh, man. Uh, Vendetta's done for. Yep. Or so. Alright, I-156 misses. Man, he's got a lot of subs done during the Mirac. Okay, so these are my anti-submarine patrols that I've got. Um, trying to clear a pathway here. At Hawaii. Because he's got subs all. Ooh! Ooh! Looks like we get a good hit on the I-169. Okay. It says one hit, but it's a critical damage in the in the animation, so I, I don't know what to believe, but that's something. That's always good when we can do some damage to a sub. Hopefully it drives it off back to Kwajalein or truck or something. Oh, here we go. Dutch sub coming through for me. So we get one torpedo into the uh, Kimishima Maru off the coast of Camran Bay. Uh, I'm, I doubt it will sink, but it will definitely cause issues. That's good. Right off the bat, a little better. Hmm. Well, that one didn't figure it a lot. Oh. Um, okay, so the Mauritius was trying to leave Singapore. I was going to just evacuate the area with it, but unfortunately he's got subs already in the, uh, the Strait of Malacca, so we eat a torpedo on the Mauritius on the way out. So that's out of the fight. Damn. A lot of submarine activity right now. Okay, so we got some more shore bombardment at Eva. He's still trying to relieve these guys that we've got cornered here. Oh, oh, this is a this is an invasion. He's lending more troops here. Interesting. All right, well, he's really trying to save this unit here, so that's really gonna mess up my plans for. Isolating and destroying that unit at Eba if he's bringing in reinforcements. So it looks like he's bringing in some um, uh, SNLF units, and these aren't going to be very much, but he's just trying to add some more forces there to save what he's already got. Hmm. 
A lot of sub activity. All right, more more landing at Eba. We'll take a fair amount of casualties there, and don't do really think anything to him. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we looks like we have spotted his his carrier task force. So these are definitely two CVLs or CVEs. I'm not exactly sure which ships these are off the top of my head, but he's got one heavy cruiser, two destroyers, and two light carriers. Um, this ship will probably be going down or not. Okay, got out of there. I was evacuating this ship out of turn eight because I knew these guys were coming. So now let's take some notes here. We've got the Ryujo, the Tayo, the Nachi, and a couple destroyers. That's what that that um, carrier task force is that's been harassing me uh, in the celibacy. So it's the Ryujo and the Tayo. So now we know where they're at. Okay, so here's the Boise. Um, I, hmm. I was hoping it was going to encounter like a convoy of some sort of I was hoping it was going to encounter something other than this. Oh. oh! Oh! Really? Interesting. Okay, Boise's going to make go down here. But we definitely got a hit into the Ryusha, which is good. Alright, we're taking some hits from his destroyers or other, other like, uh, the, uh, Another hit into Ryusho. Oh, this is good. Well, I, I don't see Boise getting out of here, but we're definitely gonna go down swinging. So let's let's see what happens here. There is a chance that Boise can egress here. Oh, and we're getting another hit into the Ryusho. All right, so his secondary batteries are hitting us with some regularity, but. Not too many big hits. I only saw maybe one. I've only seen one like uh, inch gun hit on the Boise so far. These five inch guns. Okay, there's another one. That's gonna hurt. But we're definitely dealing in some damage in return. Ah, that's the main battery. Yep, yeah, that's that's not gonna be good. Come on, Boise, get out of there. Yep, I think he might be able to get away. I'm hoping so. All right. So we take seven shell hits. It does not indicate a fire, which it could be good. All right. As far as his ships, the Ryuzo takes four shell hits. The Nachi takes three and is on fire. Um... I don't know how bad the Ryuzhou's damage, but it might be enough to at least drive it back to Japan for some repairs. Because if it's any kind of major damage, I can guarantee you he's got nothing at Babel Doab. Daub? Babel Doab? I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't think he's got anything there that can really affect repairs on any of these heavy ships here. So we may have sent the Nachi and the Ryuzhou back to Japan for a while, which is nothing but a positive for us. If the Boise can survive this, I can get it out of here and get it repaired. So good job, Boise. You did well. All right, so some ASW work by him on our Dutch sub. We take a hit. We take some hits there. Oh, that's not so good. This is an abnormally lucky patrol boat. They're normally not this effective. Um, pretty sure that sub's a big honor here. Oh, it's over. Sub had to come to the surface, so this is this is finished. Yep, I'm almost certain we just lost that Dutch sub to a patrol boat, a crappy little patrol boat. Hmm.
right? So another anti-sub attack on his subs circling Hawaii. Uh, I'm not really expecting to kill any of these things. I just want to keep their heads down uh, for a very particular reason, which I'll explain later. So if we keep his subs in the underwater and out of a firing position, that's a, that's a win for me. Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. I need, I need to keep these subs down. And we got really lucky here that the, um, that that cruiser didn't take a torpedo. As you can see, we have some stuff coming into town here, and I did not need to be losing those due to a sub attack. So that's that's a good sign. We may be able to escape here. Oh boy. Forgot about the I don't know if the uh, boys is going to be able to get away now. I have a lot of aircraft on anti-submarine patrol right now. A lot of them. Like, all of them. All right, well, I, I don't know if we can believe these reports, but if we're able to do any sort of damage to these guys right now, that's going to be good. All right, so we put up a credible uh, cap right here. I'm sure they're all going to be killed from these zeros, but at least we got some aircraft up to try to do something here. Get some more aircraft up. I know we got more than this. We need to do more damage to these guys. Let's get some more aircraft. Let's do this. Let's put up a good fight here. be awesome if we can somehow clear these zeros out and get to the bombers because uh, if we can somehow get through this escort those bombers are, are done for and doubt it well tell you what let's fast forward here and let's see what what comes of this uh yeah didn't look good This is definitely what we don't need right now is them hitting hitting Clark Field. My whole Philippine strategy, my whole defense strategy relies on Clark Field staying intact. And if he's hitting us like this, it's, it's going to be bad. All right, so basically, we lose at least three aircraft, probably more. He doesn't really lose anything, at least according to this. And we take some more hits to stuff. Um the infrastructure at the base and he's coming in again with another raid I'm sure this is gonna go equally bad for me again we don't really do much they destroy a lot of they destroy at least three aircraft and do more infrastructure damage Chinese raid nothing to write home about oh the little elves the elves are at it again I wish my uh, float planes could be that effective when they're bombing. Mine never seem to hit anything. So Sally's bombing our aircraft, our troops retreating from the river hex. It's not defensible. 65 casualties, all right. 
Another raid at Georgetown. It's fine. Oh. Better watch out. I don't think he was expecting these guys. I don't think Lodric knew we brought some P40s over from the Philippines. Oh, wow. Oh, here we go. Well, I was expecting a little bit more, but I guess that's something, right? We scared him at least, right? I was I was expecting more of my P40s to be up in the air at that time, but uh, you know, at least we destroyed something here and put him on notice. And then again, we were able to put up some P40s. I'll be interested to see how these stack up against the Tojos. Uh, apparently, the, uh, the Tojos uh, are pretty good. Yeah, they're really good. I would have ex hoped for the P40s to do a little better than this. That's kind of disappointing. I was expecting the P40s to stack up better against the Tojo than that. Mm. So we lose one P40, damage one of his little bombers and we take some casualties not the not the result i was hoping for hopefully this p40 will be able to do something uh, or not nope it <laughs> decided not to even fight and uh, we're basically out of cap that's a different area now Now I'm really worried about some other stuff here. Um, I'm really worried about the Boise. I don't think it's going to get out of there. Oh, I guess he got wise to us. He's moved an entire Nate unit over to Ai Chang. Clear sky for once. Maybe we'll be able to do some damage to the ground forces here. Alright, so... I can't keep repeating the same thing over and over again. He's he's wise to us hitting his stuff at I Chang, so I'm gonna have to find another target for these bombers because he's got a decent amount of aircraft there, aircraft there to cover it. So we suffer six aircraft damaged. We don't seem to inflict any losses on the ground. Hmm, forgot about that. Well, we got through. And we don't, unfortunately, we get no hits on this ship, but we don't get shot down either, so that's pretty cool. Do a little damage here. Just a, a symbolic gesture at Rabang. Oh, I thought I told these guys not to fly anymore. Oh, pretty sure these Vildebeasts are about finished here. Well, good job, guys. You tried. I thought I told them not to fly anymore. I must have missed something. Oh, well. Once again, he's gotten wise to us. He's, uh, we, I guess you can't keep hitting the same place every day, right? That being said, I'm not overly concerned about Claude's. They have two little pea shooter guns. I doubt they're going to be able to do a whole lot of damage to these B-17s. Hopefully we can finish off whatever's in port um, here at Babel. We've been hitting it for the last several days doing port strikes. These clouds are doing surprisingly good. Let's let's get to the end here. So we only managed to get three aircraft over the target. Hmm. We don't hit anything in the port. 
So his claws did a good job. Better than I thought they would. Okay, so he's pushed his carrier task force deep into the into the Java Sea. I think that's a mistake. All right, I'm gonna be sending everything I got at this guy. This is not acceptable. I'm not gonna let him come in this deep unopposed. I think this is a mistake. I feel like he's overextended here. All right, so we, we're taking hits here, but you know, that's kind of expected. I can't believe he's pushed that deep in there. Alright, so one of our ships takes one bomb hit. And now here's the Kate's. This is going to be the bulk of his striking force. And it's being used on a bunch of APs that I have retreating from the area. And they appear to be missing. The fact that he's attacking with bombs is suggesting that he's run out of torpedoes, which is a good thing for us. It's not good for these these um, the ships that are getting hit, but torpedoes are more deadly overall, I think. So I think he might be out of torpedoes. All right. Well, this this task force is basically done. All right. These two ships are going down. The Hong Kang and the Kapong are finished. And, uh, unfortunately for the Boise, I think that it is finished. There's no way we're getting out of this. That's, that's it for the Boise. It's unable to locate the target because it sank. Well, fair seas, uh, Boise, you tried. Uh, that was a very, very badly mismanaged... Uh, sortie with the Boise. I was expecting better. Uh, I had it out there in between in this area here for days trying to find a target and it kept missing repeatedly and finally got caught up to by these aircraft and finished it off. That I will take full responsibility for the loss of the Boise. I did not play that well. I could have used it better than this. People ways are doing their best here, but I just don't think they're going to have what it takes to get in with this cap up. All right, so we do no damage to him. I don't, I'll be surprised if, if any of those aircraft make it back with the damage they took. So we're going full in and giving it everything we got right now. If he wants to bring his bomber, if he wants to bring his uh, ships in this deep. Uh, he's going to pay for it. Hopefully we get in here and make an attack. Come on, guys. Give me something here. And a bunch of misses. So we lose at least two aircraft, possibly more. We see that the reuser's on fire, but, uh, you know, it's not enough. Here I am slinging everything I got at this carrier task force he's got, and we lose every single aircraft on the attack because they went in unescorted. Make another attempt on this. Now at least we have some escorts. Hopefully they can put up a good fight. Come on, guys. Give me something here. And a miss. 
completely unsuccessful air attacks across the board in the DEI. These are my act of desperation attacks right now. And we're just losing the aircraft left and right. Can't can't get through his cap. Hmm. That's a tough day. At least we went out swinging. The Boise did its best. We're reporting a fair amount of hits on the subs around Hawaii, so I'm hoping some of these are accurate and we're causing damage enough to make him leave the area. Six casualties on this unit and it is retreating back towards Changsha. It's like the endless cap. He's got tons of these aircraft up today. We don't manage to penetrate it. She's claiming no allied losses, but I don't know if that's accurate. We don't get through the cap. Again, I doubt these will either. Man, I wish my cap aircraft could stay up all day. We've hit this guy seven or eight times. And we've been completely unable to wear down his combat air patrol. Three, three Hudson squeak through. I'm sure they'll miss. And they miss. Three additional aircraft damaged. Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah. He's gotten this far in here now. And yeah, this was a ship I had on a random mission, I think, heading over to Babo and Buela. Um, but he's pushed so far down in here now that even, even these are being subjected to their attacks. I have no answer for any of his carrier task forces right now. All the aircraft I'm sending are getting shot down. I have nothing to, to push back against any of this. I'm sure this task force is finished. Yeah, probably three of these four ships are gonna go down. What a rough day. Oh, well, that's good. We get a, we get a hit on a uh, cargo ship right off the coast of Cameron Bay. Takes one torpedo and is on fire. Again, it's not going to contribute much, but it's a moral victory. I'll take that. Okay, so now we know he's got subs at Pago Pago already. Okay, we're going to have to up our anti-submarine effort in this area. I didn't think that he would have a sub down here already. Hmm. Okay. More landings at EVA. Man, that's a, a, a larger force. This might be an entirely different unit coming in. Yep, look at that. First rating regiment. This is actually an airborne unit. This is a parachute regiment. He's he's throwing everything he's got right now at me. Um, I believe the first rating regiment was based in Japan at the start of this campaign, so he's already brought them in. Hmm.
so this is him taking Lingayan. This unit didn't figure to last anyway. This was, was already damaged at San Fernando. So he may he may well finish this off. Hello! So we lose Lingayan. Didn't it didn't uh, figure to last anyway. We actually, we actually hold off here. I'm surprised that we held that at all. I wonder, what did he hit us with? A pretty small force in itself. All right, and Miri, we expect this to go down. All right, Miri folds, or folds rather. And this is our deliberate attack at Eba. Uh, it may have been successful until he brought in these reinforcements. So that's definitely going to uh, make it harder for us now. So we're completely unsuccessful here. We caused some damage, but it's disproportionate. So I think I'm done at Eba. It's time to pull back. We're never going to get anything done with that. All right, overall, I'd say this was a bad result. Um, losing the Boise like that was not what I wanted. And some other things that I had hoped would happen did not happen. Uh, I, again, by no fault of, of anything but bad decision making on my part. So we'll take a look at the uh, Intel report now. Okay, guys, we're back with the Intel brief. Um, I'll go over that, and I'm going to point out a few interesting things that I've seen on the map. But let's start with the Intel report. So, um, starting with aircraft losses, we had a horrible day. So we're showing about 42 aircraft losses today versus Japanese 4. Um, these 139s uh, for the Dutch Air Force were just absolutely blasted. I had everything I could send out in the DEI trying to attack ships, but his cap was just impenetrable, and we lost so many aircraft. So I'm going to have to reevaluate that tactic because I don't want to just keep feeding aircraft in there for him to kill if they have no chance of doing any damage. And nothing I've seen from their performance so far leads me to believe that these 139s are effective. Uh, the P-35s, we lost most of those at Manila during his um, air raids there. Uh, it looks like we lost four seagulls to ground strikes uh, during during his when he uh, bombed bombed uh, Clark this time around. We lost a couple PBYs, the same thing, and one ops loss. Um, we had three of these wildebeests out of Hong Kong shot down. I'm pretty much done with that. We did kill a couple zeros. Well, we didn't kill them, but they were ops losses. We lost a couple P-40s, which I was not too thrilled about. I was expecting a little better performance out of those in China, but they didn't work out. These demons, same thing. Nothing to write home about here. And a, a mixed bag of assorted losses from different aircraft types here. Um, again, nothing too exciting. But the, the key takeaway here is we lost 42 to his 4. So the air campaign in the DEI is going very badly. Um, top pilots, we have five missing in action, nine wounded, and ten KI, which, when you think about it, could be a lot worse. Out of forty, out of forty-two aircraft lost, we only have fifteen pilots that are potentially unrecoverable. We may get some of those MIA pilots back, so I'll be watching the uh, operations report closely to see if we recover any of these lost pilots. But looking at the aircraft here, the Royal New Zealand Air Force is doing great work for us. And a couple of our fighters at um, Clark are doing the best they can. So, all right. No aces yet, but possibly soon. Okay, for ship sunk, this was another bad day for us. Really bad. Um, so, we possibly, possibly sank the I-169 
off the coast of uh, Pearl Harbor to the north. Now, we're not certain of that. I did see during one of our ASW attacks that we got a critical hit on one. That's not to say we actually sank it, but I think we may have damaged it enough that he may have to head out of there. And the more of these subs we can take out of here and get, get out of the picture, the better. As far as our losses, though, the the big one here is the Boise. Um, and again, this is 100% my fault. I mismanaged that ship from the start. Initially, I sent them down to Babel, hoping to intercept some convoys coming out of there. And while I saw a lot of convoys on the map, we just kept missing it every turn. The Boise would drive right by it, would not intercept. And I guarantee if we had, we could have done some work on those things. Because the Boise's got 15 6-inch guns. Um, as it was, we did intercept his Ryujo and Tayo uh, convoy, and we did get some hits on the Ryujo such that it was on fire the last time we saw it. Uh, I seriously doubt that ship's going to sink, but if it's damaged enough that he has to take it back to Hawaii, uh, well, correction, to mainland Japan to repair, that's a win for us. So I'm hoping that we did enough damage that he has to do that, because one less carrier operating in the area is a, is a win for us for now. So we'll see how that transpires. We'll keep an eye on that. But we do know that the Ryujo and the Tayo are over here. Over here by um, Turn 8. That was the last time we spotted them. And uh, again, let's keep an eye on what happens. But the Ryujo may be done for a bit. And back to ship losses. Ship sunk this turn. Or the last turn, we lose more ships to his aircraft. The the carriers that are operating from the Hiryu and then this Ryujo Taiyo task force are just ripping us apart. We don't have a good answer for it. Um, he's standing off the coast far enough that our cap can't protect our ships, but deep enough in that his bombers can get to us. So um, I'm continually trying to reevaluate uh, my options with getting ships out of the DEI. I have things I want them to be doing, but as long as he's got his carrier sticking his foot in the door, I don't really have a lot of options. So we're going to continue to lose ships while those carriers are in play. I'm hope I'm hoping that we get a little bit of relief in the Celibacy and in Makassar Strait so we can continue to evacuate ships out of the Philippines. Um, hopefully with the Boise going down swinging, we got that ter carrier task force to move out of here for the time being. Um, the only other concern that I still have is going to be with this one right here. Um, this task force here, which has at least the hear you in it, if not more. Um, and you can see we have a lot of ships in the area that he can strike. So I'm going to try to get them out of here, but I just don't have a good answer for dealing with the hear you right now. We have not been able to get through his cap. All right. Um, on the ground, we are still in trouble here because he cut the rail line to Singapore. So all these troops in North Singapore, I cannot pull into, into Singapore. I'm sorry, Northern Malaya, I cannot get into Singapore now. So we're coming with the plan B. I will explain what that is in the coming coming days, if you can't already tell. Um, I I thought about trying to come here and down here and dislodging that, but I see 67 AFVs, so I'm assuming that's an armored unit. And I have nothing there that can do any damage to that armored unit. So it would be just a waste of time trying to push him out of there with infantry. I got nothing that can hurt that. So I'm not even going to attempt it. We'll fall back into Singapore where we can. And we'll retreat elsewhere in Malaya where we can. Mary fell this turn. Uh, and all the leaves are going to fall. I expect that. This sub is done for. I seriously doubt we're going to be able to recover this. Uh, this got hit hard by a patrol boat of all things. The, the patrol boats that typically don't do crap uh, on this particular turn. They got really lucky and I think we're going to lose this sub. So we'll keep an eye on this one, but I don't expect it to survive. Over in the Philippines, he landed even more troops here at Iba to relieve those troops that we were trying to surround and kill. Uh, which honestly really doesn't matter at this point because he took Lingayan. So they have a, a retreat path even if I did dislodge them. So we're pulling out. We're pulling back. Um, we're falling back to our, our our main line of defense at Clark Field. And that is also being subjected to heavy area attack. 
and he continues to do damage to our runways, which is preventing me from building up the fortifications that I need to make Clark Field viable. So I'm hoping with all the engineer assets that I'm collecting there now that we can keep up with this damage that he's dealing out and start getting some fortifications built because we're going to need those to hold out at Clark Field as long as possible. We did have a little success with hitting a ship out here near Camran Bay. Uh, no indication that the ship went down, and I doubt that it did. But it's definitely damaged and got some flooding, so we'll we'll keep working on that. All right, here's the last thing I want to point out before I end this video is this little thing right here. So we got a carrier task force, which was formerly known as the Kido Butai. And then we have this, which was just spotted this last turn. I think he split up his Kido Butai. Okay, so he's sending some of these uh, northwest, probably back to Japan to rearm and re-equip. But this unit here, this uh, other carrier task force, which I don't know exactly what it consists of, but it's there, is moving southwest. And southwest, if you draw a line down this way, points over here. So I think he split up his carrier task force. He's going to send part of it back to Japan and part of it this way to support the Rabal invasion. Um, so that's very disconcerting because I don't have anything to stop him right now with that. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Um, we're going to lose spotting on that soon because we don't have a lot of uh, spotting capability once he clears range of Johnston Atoll. Once he moves outside of this range here, we're going to lose sight of this. So we're going to hopefully we get one more fix on him before the end of next turn so we can continue drawing a line and determining which way he's going. But if I were a betting man, I would say these guys are heading down to the Solomon Islands and also down into the Ball and eventually to support the attack of Port Moresby. So we need to keep an eye on that. Um, Rabal is holding out steel, but still, but I don't know for how long. Um, my intel suggests that there's a battleship in this task force. I don't know if I believe that or not. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to, to, to think long and hard about what I want to do about that. Because if there is a battleship there, I don't want to go after it. But if it's misinformation, which it possibly could be, I don't know that he's got a lot of ships that are worth a darn. And it may be worthwhile trying to go in there and doing something. So stay tuned to the next turn and you'll see what comes to that and what I decide. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to decide right now for operational security reasons. But I have a lot of decision making to do here. Um, I already lost to Boise in a, in a kind of a wasted effort. So I don't know if I want to throw any more ships at, a st at stuff like this just to give him more ship kills. Anyway, I think that I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please continue to to ask questions on my Discord or here on these uh, videos. If you have comments, suggestions, anything you want to say, I want to hear everything you got. So continue to comment, continue to watch. Uh, hopefully in the next day or two I'll have turn 6 ready for Lodric, which will be the December 12th turn, and we'll see what happens next. Um, long story short, he's kicking my butt. Uh, way more than I thought that he would. So uh, I hope you're entertained, just like the Gladiator. Are you not entertained? I'm um, getting my butt kicked for y'all. So, all right. Take care. We'll see you soon.